Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my first Halloween nail design for 2016 and it's a spider French tip. As always, start off with a good base coat. I'm using CND Sticky Base. I'm using SE Mademoiselle for my base color for my French tip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do one coat of that and then let it dry for a minute and then go ahead and do a second coat. Once that second coat has had a chance to dry for a few minutes, I'm going to go with my Essie Black Licorice and just paint on the French tip directly with the brush. Now you can use a nail vinyl guide for this if you'd like to, but I just find it easier to do it this way. So you just want to get the polish off of one side of your brush and have an ample amount on the other side, but not too much. I ran out, so I'm going to go ahead and switch sides and use some of the polish on that. And it's easy if you turn the finger that you're painting away or toward you depending on what side you're doing and that just helps you create a smoother line. And you can use a barrier on the sides if you don't want to do any cleanup but I'm just going to use some acetone and a little smudge brush and I'll have a link to all the products I'm using down below but I'm just going to take that brush and do some cleanup. I have some dry areas around the top of my fingers and so the black is going to get a little caught in that and it's hard to get out and that's okay. It'll come out eventually so we just go ahead and clean that up. And now I'm going to move on to the spider design. I like to use acrylic paints for this because it's just a little bit easier. And I'm going to be using my Winstonia brushes. They're my favorite for detailing and I'll have a link to those down below. So I'm going to drop a drop of that acrylic paint on my paper plate. And as you can see, it helps to practice the spiders. I did a few on this plate here to get an idea of what I really wanted. Some are better than others, but that's why you practice. So I just have a little bit of water. I'm going to mix that in to thin it out just a little bit. You don't want it too thin though and then I'm going to take some of that off and as I paint it on here I discovered that I thinned it out a little too much and you'll be able to tell that as it kind of pulls away from the nail and so I'm going to go ahead I got some fresh paint and added to that and made it a little bit thicker so I'm going to go ahead and do that outline of this I'm going to do one bigger end and then the head on the top and then go ahead and smooth the edges out and you'll notice when you're using these black, this black acrylic paint that it kind of has a grayish color. It's not as black as your black polish. But once you paint over it with the top coat, it'll be the same color as your other black. So I'm just doing the legs. I'm gonna have two out at the top, one at the bottom, and then one kind of in the center of the body. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And before I went to paint the other side, I cleaned my brush off with some water and dipped it back into my fresh paint. And that's the first portion of the spider you're going to do. The spider has two jointed legs and so you're going to have three little segments. So I'm going to do the next segment for each one. Actually, I lied on these ones. I went ahead and did the third segment, just going into the French tip. And for the other legs, I'm going to do that first segment and then the third and then I'll do that for the next one. And then this one I want to curve nicely along the side of that nail. So I'm going to do that segment for that side and then this segment for the other side. And then the second segment for the last legs. And this segment's going to be long enough that you can just kind of connect them at the base of the nail. And then I'm just defining these segments a little better. I think they look better if they have more of a jointed look. And this one was a little bit curved, so I'm just fixing that. And then I'm gonna go over any areas that need to be a little darker or that I think need a little touch up. And I decided I wanted a third segment on those second legs, second from the bottom of the spider. And so I'm gonna just do those along the length of the nail or the curve of the nail as well. And once you've made sure that that's dry, you're gonna go ahead and use your fast dry top coat. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. And as you can see, as you paint over that, it does make that acrylic paint a little darker and so that it matches well. And that's the final look. I hope you guys like this for Halloween. I have some other designs coming up, so look for those. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.